Hello everyone, Atraman John here, and we're here for a M15 draft. Um, so what you liking from this pack, John? Flush to dust. Five mana. pretty good, I think. Yeah, five mana removal spell, but it's the only real removal spell in this format. Yeah. I do like the Paragon of Eternal Wilds, so. though. Yeah, the green one especially is playable, I think. The green one and the red Ooh. This card's very good. Yes. Agreed. Um. Hmm. This is always the problem, because these cards are so good, but to play them you have to play the colors, and then you can't play the... Right. Double spells things. Or you have to splash, which is like your your worst. You hate splashing, so. Yeah. But I think this format makes you almost splash sometimes. I swear. Yeah. If we take this, if I, I wouldn't be upset about. I mean. What did we take this over? I forgot the first one already. Um. We passed a red card, didn't we? Yeah, we passed a few little red cards, but they weren't anything, like, super it's exciting. Cards. We can take Card Chieftain. The Geist is also good, but this card is very overpowered. Uh, military Intelligence. Carrying Crow. If we're going to stick with red, we probably pick up this guy. Too many thing. Uh, this card's fine. The last fire bolt is okay. Would we rather have a blast fire bolt or a two two intimidator? Mm. Or necrobite. So we're playing if we're playing red green, unfortunately we're probably not playing with us. Right. Now we could again be playing like red black and have a forest and fetch. Yes. So Intimidate gun is I'm not sure if it's better than this. This card's alright too. I mean, it enters cap, also cool. but yeah, it's just like a bad, a slightly bad Windrake. A lot of options. I feel like we take the Windrake. Okay. I just feel like it having the, and then we can like pick up another one, and then we just have yeah. flying air superiority. Yeah, the card's good. Windrake, it's good. Bad Windrake is good. I might just pick up that. Um, is that worth something? It might be. It's also a fine card. Otherwise, I'll, there's Hunt the Weak. Or Necrobite in our colors. Or Necrobite. This is a fine card. I can't believe that's being said. <laughs> it is. But I think the Hush Windrake's worth a few bucks. I think. We'll just sure. Go. What's the opponent? What's this card do? Put a plus one plus one counter if an opponent wants to. Live. It's like a win more card. If you're already attacking, then it's win more. Life so Legacy is a pretty decent card. What is this one again? Uh, Vigilant two two for three, and if oh, they yeah, have okay. something exiled, it's a four four. What a weird. This card. card's actually pretty decent. Just the card draw from it is pretty solid. Here's card draw too, though. Yeah. There are ways to build blocks by sign blooding them. Zoth Shade, Wall of Essence, Pillar of Light, but we probably don't want to go into white unless we're going to throw this out the window. Shade's good. Golem? Or Lava X? Uh, I think we go Yeah, probably. Divination. Hey, that's a that's a really late divination. Yeah, we could do like blue black. Mm-hmm. Let's see what comes here. The tap thing is bad. It's bad, it's but it's better than no stutter. Almost playable in this format. Yeah. I hate that. That just leaves like a sour taste in your mouth when you're like a 
two mana artifact that taps a creature for four is yeah. almost playable. <laughs> it's like Homelands. Or Fallen Empires. Never played in those formats, but I've heard how bad they are. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Save yourself the pain. Don't play the format. Well, you actually could. Because, like, a box of Homelands is going for, what, $30 or something? Is there anything with any value in that set? Uh, Baron Sengir is worth a dollar, I think. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Could pick up Military Intelligence. Yes, or the 2 3 flyer. I think the Intelligence is probably the super. Especially if we pick up some flyers and stuff. I'm gonna pick right, up this one. great. Okay, so blue black looks like. Oh, oh. Nickel bite seems fine. Sure. Hard guys feast on the fall, fall and could be reasonable. Yeah, especially if you have a lot of flyers. Right. Welcome turns. So this guy's probably hitting the sideboard here. Yeah. Alright, it's shaping up pretty well. Now that we have military intelligence, we kind of want welcome turns. I oh. like all three of these. I'd yeah. like to have this illusory angel too, but that's this. This is pretty good. It depends, but this card. Is that awesome. card's just insane, though. Yeah, this is kind of skeptical in my book. It'll come down on turn five usually. Yeah, turn so turn five. I'd say in this because you'll play it with the. Two. Wow, that card's nuts. Um, for us, though, yeah, it's just like an Nimbus. in this set. It's always been a rare. I mean, Carrick's Wake. <laughs> it's bad for each for us. Yeah. <laughs> Can't justify spending 9 mana. Yeah, in Carrick's Wake. It's a very extreme. It's an extremely powerful effect, but nine mana, really. <laughs> we were commenting before. We think in testing it originally had convoke, and then they were like, "Oh yeah, we can't do that." Because <laughs> yeah, people just go like junk ramp, and they just go ramp into Elspeth plus Elspeth. Derek's wake. I win. Hey, Derek's wake. I win. Yeah. Kill your Elspeth. Etc. Yeah. This guy's taking forever. He must be tanking on a card. The first card he took, he snap picked the red. So. Flesh to dust? Or Paragon. Blue Paragon. This one gives flying? Yeah. All the blue creatures already have flying, basically. Except for so. the Merc Lurker. <laughs> and the yeah. Amphim Path Mage. I think the removal is just better. Yeah, probably. Five manas. Divination? Covenant of Blood? I like removal. Kind of like the Divination. Could take Divination. I feel like we just want to be drawing more cards to get more of our other removal spells. You know? But you could just originally draw your removal. Sure. I wouldn't do their these. I think they're... Um, I feel like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... So three cards will come back. Yeah, yeah Divination will probably be part of the group that comes back. No. Neither of those are coming back. You don't think so? Encrust or Shadow Cloak Vampire? Removal? Yeah, we just don't have many creatures. It's fine. No, the ones we do have fine. are very good, like Path Mage, Shade. I think we're on another Path Mage. I think so too. Another Encrust? Sure. Sure. Well, the 3-5, I think, is actually playable, too. The, um, um Rot Feaster Maggot? Yeah, it's basically 3-5 and gain 3 life. You think the average creature in the yard's going to have 3 toughness? By turn 5, yeah. It's 
probably a three five game. Do it. Appeal from reality or a child at night. Actually, I like both of those. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Does this do anything sweet? Um, not currently. Not with us. I think we want the child at night because it turns. Yeah. Which actually might be a reason to have fugitive wizards. Ugh. Or we could, you know, pick up an soul artifact and just throw that somewhere. I'd rather not ever have to play fugitive possible. This turns theoretically. Theoretically. Ooh, that's worth fine. You're right, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I could doubt myself there. I'm like, I'll take the wall fight. Ah, never mind. We'll just take a swap. Sure. Alright. So, let's see. What would be a good poll here? Revoker's interesting. Paragon right. of Open Graves. Hmm? This guy's interesting. He costs... His ability costs a billion, but... But that such is very strong. Especially in this format. Um... Or we could take this because then our flyers all draw us cards. I like the Paragon a lot. I don't know. It pumps up the crows. Yeah, it does pump up the crows, but I think... Having our flyers draw this card would be good too. When we have two flyers. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's take the paragon. We don't ha we have barely any two drops, so we're not doing like anything before turn three. Yeah. Hopefully, we pick up some Balkan turns. Yeah, we haven't seen a single one this entire draft. Right. Someone's been grabbing all. Well, yuck. That thing, I guess. Yeah. Looking like. Yeah. This could be interesting. But what is it? Uh, convoke reanimator. Sure. Kill something big. Bring it back. Better because it's any graveyard. Yep. Gravedigger is actually fine. Yeah, I like Gravedigger. It's to be common, and then you'd have the Gravedigger loops. Oh, Gravedigger loops. Gravediggers! Yep. Two, two Gravediggers. Way better than one Gravedigger. Also, interestingly enough, if that, that, um. By the way, we're taking that. But if that uh, Necromancer stockpile comes back around, you can discard Gravedigger, play Gravedigger, get back Gravedigger, discard Gravedigger, yeah. get that's zombies, pretty... and all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah, that's actually pretty filthy. And our Carrion Crows are zombies, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. I think we're going to actually pick up one of those. Unless you'd... Just be... Uh, that, that, or that. Probably that actually. Yeah. Sliver is we, a we, one. we've seen like two of these pass though. So if those wheel, that's pretty solid. It's not very good. Well it's a one one that when it attacks it does another one damage. And then So it's like bad child of night? Well, except for the fact that it also if there's more of them it stacks. Then it does two damage? On the attack plus one. Eh, whatever. Take that guy. <laughs> That's actually alright. Also this. Hmm. Second guy get a plus one plus one counter gain two life. Or a guy can't be blocked. We have quite the high curve here. Fester Gloom? Nah, it's one of these. Fester Gloom kills off all the, like, the little three ones, two ones, one ones though. Eh. I'm thinking it might actually be Fester Gloom. Really? In the main? 
No, no, no. It's a sideboard card for us. Why wouldn't we pose them? Because we didn't need to. I think both of those. Hmm. I think it, I think it's fine to have one of those on the sideboard. I don't know if I would have played it over those other ones, so. Maybe, but we already have a huge, a high curve. That was my thought process. Sure, but it. I think the Covenant of Blood is better than. Well, like, we picked up a cut another Covenant. This of stupid blood. thing, or no, the the three three that eats guys is better than this stupid thing. Like it's an upgrade. Right now. Yeah, I mean, if we play against triplicate spirits, another divination for you. Right. Sure. Counter sure. spell that's not going to be played by us. Yep. Unfortunately, that little zombie thing to do the grave digger shenanigans, but. Mm -hmm. It's a rare. People take it just because it's a rare. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, we're probably going to end up cutting that Rot Feaster Mag anyways. We have 30 cards, so we have to cut that. Yeah. Alright. Well, okay, so let's see here. Let's start by sorting like this. goes away because we didn't grab enough flyers. So it's only so-so. Playing one counter spell is fine. Double encrust is reasonable removal in this format. Mm -hmm. Double flesh to dust is pretty good. Can throw that thing away. A bot's trying to talk to me. <laughs> because they get stupid. Still trying to talk to me. Why is it doing? Because remember we tried to trade it at one point. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they get confused. Um. Okay, so looking at this, oh, divinations go down here too. Dang, we got a lot of non-creature spells. Mhm. Mm um. Okay. So looking at this, I say we probably want to cut like one creature. So I. Maggot. Sure. It's only all right. Um. Then we probably want to cut the rest from down below. Mhm. Mm so what do we cut? Crippling blights, kind of weak. Crippling blight, necrobite, and cross divination. Necrobite. You want to cut one of the encrusts? Yeah, I guess it, it, it blue is more of a side color for us. So, okay. You think that's the best setup for this? That's my initial thoughts. Any thoughts? Maybe this one instead, or uh, this one instead. I don't know. I think that card's gonna be good for us. I think so too. Just Kill their best guy, get it back. Right. Yeah. Or even this here. Yeah, we we have enough way, way, ways to kill their best guy. That I think that card's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is probably fine. Okay. Um, we didn't pick up any evolving wilds, so ten seven. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah that's probably fine shut up you damn bot <laughs> all right um now one thing that i've been wanting to go over um i'm going to be do issuing a challenge to viewers at the end of the final part of this draft so hope so when ever this draft ends there'll be a note at the end of it and i'm going to discuss something i'd like to do so stay tuned see you in round one